hello and welcome to my youtube channel guys um i haven't been able to upload tutorial videos because i had difficulties with my pc and everything is sorted now uh last time i had a request from someone asking me to do a tutorial about how to produce like we do and remember guys this is strictly for beginners so if you know that you are a pro or you know your stuff's already about producing then you can still watch the video but just know that the video is strictly for me so let's get to it guys okay the first thing you're gonna do obviously is your kick uh i strongly recommend that you use four bars so that even when you're packing your songs, you know that your patterns are four bars. Then the second thing I insert is my percussions. So for the, this specific video, I used a lot of bones, as you can see, because uh, that's what Joe usually uses. He, he uses a lot of bones. Then the third thing you wanna do is your pad. I usually use aquarius for my pet and instead of using one long note for aquarius I use single notes and just extend them using control B so that I get the sound and not the hope you can hear the difference so the next thing you wanna do, so in this case, this is my melody, but I also use the pad for my melody. Ah, uh, this is Amile. It's under Citrus. So when you go to Citrus and go to your presets, this is where you'll find. Next thing I do, I'm adding uh, extra background sounds in order for the song to not be dry throughout because I can't be using the same sound throughout the whole song. So in this case, I use tape strings and a classical. Then the next thing I want to do is another background sound which is supporting the, 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 the percussions and the pad. It's also the same sound, but now with a different approach. Even in this case, same sound, different approach. And in this case, I used a viral infection under the apricots. Air of noise under synth. And now for the lock drum and the base of the song, which is the most important thing, by the way, when it comes to producing a piano. So for my lock drum, the thing that I do, I go and select my lock drum selecting I just increase the whole volume all the way up and then I insert my FM sub to support the lock drum and I touch nothing on it and this is how it goes and that's about it guys then the next thing will come to the shakers for the shakers I prefer pasting them on my playlist. I don't prefer pasting them on my patterns. I use my playlist for the shakers. So in this case, I use two shakers. And this is how this song sounds, guys. Hopefully the video is helpful. And you guys are gonna have an idea.
that's about it, guys. Um, apologies for skipping throughout the song. I only have a limited time, so I'm trying to put everything for the time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for more. And don't forget to comment and put suggestions on the comment box. Away.